Welcome to All Mama All Right. On today's episode, we're going to not have a long episode because I feel like crap. I had so, my body is just, I think, trying to get used to, you know, eating three meals a day and keeping everything down and the feeling of fullness and, um, and I, you know, am still, my body is, my ED is trying to find ways to sneak on back in, pain disorder. And that, you know, last night looked like a sugar, sugar binge. And so, you know, it's just a, lar- a binge is basically just a large quantity of some sort of food or multiple types of foods. And I, it's been such a long time that I've just had a binge and not purge following. And oh my gosh, I, my stomach still hurts. Like honestly, and my, and that was, you know, I just had a bunch of candy and stuff I don't even like. And that's when you know it's a binge or that's when I know it's a binge is when I am eating things that I don't even find joy out of or enjoyment from. And I like to decorate my house with different themed candies and we're coming up to Easter. So I have, you know, Easter, um, you know, egg M&Ms in the front hall and then Hershey's Kisses and like fun wrapping. And, and usually I don't, you know, if I have some, I have like one or two, you, you know, and without even thinking, it's just, sure, grab, grab one, grab a little handful, whatever. Um, and, and, th- but then I have a, uh, another bowl of, you know, like the Starburst Jelly Bellies and more of that type of candy, which I don't like. I mean, I mean, I can't say I don't like because I ate it, but like, I definitely don't grab it towards to it. I literally had the whole like two, two pound bag. And when I say literally, I mean that that's how that's how much I was just trying to numb and, and how my ED just kind of kicked in. It really just kind of kicked in because I wanted something sweet. And so I had a little chocolate and, um, or I started with, you know, what I've been doing because sugar just has not been sitting with me. I've been getting headaches just from like a little bit. And I still kind of was on, you know, vacation mode this last, this last week, detoxing from being on vacation anyways. Long story short, I I love having, you know, citrus fruit with some Greek yogurt. I mean, I think in some honey and cinnamon is a perfect dessert. And and so I started with that and then I had some chocolate and I had some more chocolate and then and then it just turned, you know, after like 10 minutes in and just like turned. And that's when I went for this like um this other, you know, candy. And I just, I kept telling my husband, I was like, I want to throw up. He's like, well, are you going to? I was like, no, but I want to throw up. And then I started, you know, joking and playing around with it because I was like, I'm going to throw up on you. (laughs) I'm going to make it sexy and throw up on you. Like, can I please? I literally transformed into my like eight-year-old self. No, younger than that. Probably like my four-year-old self. After like, you know, when you have too much Halloween candy and you're, you don't know obviously what forceful purging is, or, you know, hopefully you don't at three or four years old. That's when my ED started. And, and, uh, but you're sitting there and you're just like in that ball, knees to chest, head to knees. And you want to cry so badly because you can feel your heart racing so much and your, your, like you're kind of getting those sour cheeks you're going to throw up and like your tummy is like in complete knots. As I'm describing this, I can, my stomach is, I'm, I'm tensing up. Like my, my tummy is getting in knots. And, and so it's been really hard for me today not to, you know, go into the next type of disordered eating is restriction. And when I used to have like drunk binges and, um, you know, my, what my night out when I was like, not in my depression of just drinking alone, when I was like social drinking, we would, 
be all drinking together and then we'd go out and then I would disappear and I would find pizza somewhere and then I would like eat the whole pizza and pass out. And I did all this in blackouts. So when I would wake up the next morning, knowing I ate what I ate, I wouldn't eat for, if not, definitely not one day, but sometimes two days. And really just, you know, uh, I never would make it to three. I'm sure I, try, I would probably be drinking again. So like the binge would just start again or the cycle would just start again. But, um, but so I did not want to do that today. I wanted my body to know that I was going to still nourish it even after I, you know, it was hurting. And that was hard because I literally feel, I still feel sick. And yet, you know, I, I made dinner and I'm going to be eating dinner. Um, and I, you know, I, I, I had breakfast and I had, and I had lunch and, and it was hard. Each meal was really hard and it wasn't a, you know, I didn't have massive amounts. It literally was just like getting something in, in my system. And, um, but I'm still hurting and it's just, this is when I need to really pay attention to what feels good and how, cause it, I it kind of wasted a day. I had no energy to do crap today. I mean, I was barely on Instagram and that says a lot because I, I was just hurting. I didn't want to like bother with, ugh. I couldn't even be me feeling like crap on IG and not purposely. Like I want to show that stuff, but I was just like, every time I think about it, the time would pass. I'd just be like, Oh, I'm dead. I'm done. I'm done. Um, so Z and I just, you know, we really kept it easy. She had a great nap this morning. So when she woke up around like 1.30, we left the house like two. And then we were able to stay out. Um, and we went to Target, which is usually my danger zone. But it was, um, it was great. We needed to get a few things for our upcoming road trip. And um, the only thing I got for myself that wasn't on the list is lip gloss. What else did I get? Am I lying? Oh, I got lotion for my hands. Let's see, that seems like a need. So another thing that's pretty cool, I have calluses on my fingers, for, on my hands from like, you know, years and years and years of binging and purging. And I thought they were permanent. You know how calluses are, can be permanent, but they're, they're disappearing. And this is, you know, it's, it'll be you know, close to a month of not having an episode. So that's huge. One thing, pat me, hey Zuma, want to pat me on the back? Can you pat me on the back? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, but, but yeah, because it was always kind of like a, oh, I, you know, poor, just say, I, I, I did this to my poor little hands. And so now, now they're, you know, they're disappearing and, and it's, it's just, it's pretty cool. Like a fresh new layer of skin to my hands but yeah we're um you know unpacking which I hate and and try not to pack too much because what we're doing is we're driving to Idaho and then flying home so I have to pack as if I'm flying alone with a 16 month year old so my sister is going to be there so you know we can we can tag team uh not necessarily I guess the girl too, but definitely, definitely the luggage. Can you tell I'm more worried about the whole suitcases than, than the child? Uh, but it'll be really fun. Looking forward to it. Um, we're leaving for the Bay Area to get closer um, for the weekend. And I'll be, you know, doing many recordings and, and we will go from there. And, you know, I'm praying that I'm just praying to my body, allowing it to do its work. And I will be, you know, feeling, feeling oh so good in no time. I have complete faith and I'm not going to purge. Da, da, da. And if I binge again, then I just sit with it and joke with my husband that I'm going to throw up on him. And, um, and it is, you got to find lightness in the darkness. And that is what I'm doing. And it is definitely one, one meal, one moment, one breath, one achy tummy ache at a time and um and I gotta gotta love it 
All righty. Thanks for tuning in and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a lovely, lovely day, morning, evening, middle of the night, whenever you listen to this. Uh, all the light and love, y'all. Bye-bye.